case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1989, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of United States v. Bros, which centered on the premise that a defendant cannot challenge an indictment's theory of separate crimes once they have pleaded guilty to those separate charges. The defendant must either contest the theory at trial, showing the existence of only one crime, or forfeit that right. The lawsuit was brought about when Ray C. Bros and his company, Bros Construction Company, Inc., became involved in bid rigging for a highway construction project in Kansas. They pleaded guilty to two separate counts of conspiracy for two different projects in 1978 and 1979. However, the defendants later argued that only one conspiracy existed and that double jeopardy principles required that the conviction and sentence on the second count be set aside. The Supreme Court ultimately rejected the defendants' argument, stating that their guilty pleas and judgments of conviction foreclosed any challenge to the theory of the indictments. During the plea negotiations, both indictments were discussed, and the defendants acknowledged in plea agreements that they were subject to separate sentences for each charged conspiracy. As a result, the court overturned the Court of Appeals ruling and upheld the indictments charging the defendants with criminal offenses related to their involvement in the conspiracy to eliminate competition for the construction project in Kansas, which violated the Sherman Act. The court held that the defendants' guilty pleas had effectively relinquished their entitlement to challenge the existence of only one conspiracy. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.